Okay guys, today uh, we're going to harvest some strawberry tree fruit. These are our beautiful strawberry trees. These used to be over 20 feet tall. And uh, when we had a eucalyptus tree cut down and a cedar tree there, there was a 40 foot eucalyptus tree there. Huge as tall cedar tree. We had them cut down a few years ago. <clears throat> and then they cut down these with a the chainsaw as well, but they all grew back. So uh, <clears throat> these are on the south side of the house. And the fruit is actually quite juicy. It is also, I believe, high in vitamin C. So I'll pick some of these ripe ones off before the birds eat them. Because that's what the birds do, and the raccoons eat them too. So <coughs> this tree is native to, I believe, southwest coast of Ireland, and also the Mediterranean. There's more coming. It used to produce a ton of fruit. It's just starting now, again, <coughs> after it was cut down, right? Took a few years to grow back, but they grow back fast. It's a broadleaf evergreen. And it is late November right now. And uh, we got a few fruit on here. Here's another one. Little baby one there. Take that. So Wendy and Krista can eat it. So these are strawberry trees and they're blooming as well. The hummingbirds love these flowers. Lots of flowers on the strawberry tree. So Arbutus unito growing here on Salt Spring Island. And there's the, there's the fruit right there. In my in Wendy's dragonfly glass, you, these grow all through our town in Ganges on Salt Spring Island. There's so many of them; they're prolific. They're just absolutely loaded with fruit, loaded. So when I'm in town, I'm always eating the fruit off them. There's another one up there. I see. I'm going to pick. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos here from the Gulf Islands in the North Pacific. I see another one hiding up there too. I'm going to grab. Cheers.